age of nine. Our daughter Ashlyn, she wasn't growing like she should have. She was only 39 pounds and she was wearing a size six. Her coloring was off. She was drinking a lot. I was just very tired and consistent headaches. That's when we talked to the pediatrician and he was puzzled. He referred us here. They did a six hour hormone test on Ash and they saw that um, her little body wasn't producing anything. And so they did an MRI on her. And whenever she was in recovery, the nurse told us the doctor was gonna walk over and talk to us. And that's when I looked at my husband and said, that, that doesn't sound like it's gonna be good news. And that's whenever she told us that Ash had a brain tumor in the front lobal part. Whenever we heard the words, of course, the whole world just stopped. We had to uh, stay in the hospital because Ashlyn needed to be on medication since her body wasn't producing so they could get her strong enough for surgery. And that's when we met Dr. Whitehead. We're told that it's really rare. Only 200 people in the U.S. are diagnosed a year. I never realized how much your pituitary gland did for the body. It's your master gland and that's why she wasn't growing. The night before surgery, um, my mom came along with us and none of us really got any sleep. Um, we didn't know what to expect. Um, nobody wanted to talk about it, but yet we were super stressed, of course, uh, because we didn't know if Ashlyn would lose her memory. We didn't know if she'd be able to walk. It. We, when you're working with the brain, there's so many things that can be affected just by a tiny little bit, you know, so. The only concern she had was she asked Dr. Whitehead if he would have to shave her hair. And he told her no, you know, um, that they were gonna go through her nose and um, remove the tumor that way. And so we weren't quite sure if he would be able to get all of it. And I'll never forget, I looked at Dr. Whitehead. They were about to take her back for surgery and I was like, please treat her as though she was your own child. And he looked at me and said, I have a child her age. And I assure you, she's in the best of care. And that's whenever I felt like I had a truck lifted off my chest. Um, I felt like I could actually breathe. But he successfully was able to remove all of it. Ash, for the rest you know, of her life, she'll have to take her medication. She has to take a growth hormone shot every night to get her bones to grow. She should be able to get past five feet. I always tell everyone, don't let her little size fool you. Trust me, dynamite comes in small packages. I love like hanging out with my friends. I love to dance. I pretty much dance 24 seven. There are no words for the gratitude that we have for Texas Children's. They saved our baby and um, thank you for treating my child as though she were your own. They mean more to us than they will ever realize.